Apple has recently re-released iOS 18.3, specifically for iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. This update comes exactly one week after the initial release of iOS 18.3. Unlike typical updates, this version cannot be installed over the air OTA. Instead, users must connect their devices to a Mac or Windows computer and update through Finder or iTunes. If someone tries to update via OTA, they will only receive the older build released last Monday, not the new one. The new build number for this update is 22D64, while the old one remains 22D63 for other devices. Apple hasn't provided specific reasons for this re-release, but it is believed to address issues like boot loops and problems encountered with devices at Apple stores. Although the exact fixes aren't disclosed, the update includes general improvements and bug fixes for iPhones. Additionally, the update brings some changes related to Apple intelligence features. These features are automatically enabled, and organizations using Mobile Device Management MDM, can control access, requiring specific workspace IDs for integrations like ChatGPT. MDM can also disable features like transcription and summarization in the Notes app. There's an improvement in single sign-on to reduce timeouts and login issues. Security has been a key focus in this update, covering areas like accessibility, airplay, core media, kernel, passkeys, and Safari. For example, a WebKit vulnerability that could cause crashes due to malicious web content has been fixed through improved state management. CDE numbers are provided for these vulnerabilities, ensuring transparency about the security patches. In terms of performance, the update addresses micro-stuttering issues, making app transition smoother, especially in apps like music, clock, and weather. There's also an improvement in promotion responsiveness, enhancing the overall user experience. However, some users still report minor issues, such as a slight desaturation effect when swiping from the wallpaper. Battery life has shown positive results. On an iPhone 16 Pro Max with 100% battery health after 120 cycles, and an iPhone 11 with 96% battery health, the performance has been excellent. For example, one device achieved over 2 hours of screen on time with only 25% battery usage, leaving 80% battery remaining. A YouTube community poll showed that 84% of users experienced better or the same battery life compared to iOS 18.2.1. Benchmark tests on the iPhone 11 revealed a single-core score of 1,676 and a multi-core score of 4,472. Although these scores are slightly lower than the previous version due to ongoing optimization, they still reflect strong performance. Looking ahead, Apple is expected to release iOS 18.3.1 soon, focusing on additional security and bug fixes. It's important to note that Apple has stopped signing iOS 18.2.1, which means downgrading to this version is no longer possible. The iOS 18.4 Beta 1 is expected to be released soon, with the public version likely arriving around March or April. This upcoming update is anticipated to bring additional features, performance improvements, and bug fixes to enhance the overall user experience. If you're using an iPhone 11, 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max, share your experiences, whether it's about performance improvements, battery life, or any bugs you've encountered. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. We'll be back soon with more exciting news about the next iOS releases.